Hi, Mike Kennedy with you today, and we're looking at a very inexpensive frequency counter. Okay, this is like a sub-assembly. What do I mean by a sub-assembly? Well, it's a complete unit, but it's obviously made to go into something else, not that you can't use it separately. It has this SMA antenna connector, which I don't have a connector for. So what I've done is I just found a piece of uh, wire to put in it to use as an antenna. Okay, runs off of a 9-volt battery. I'll put a link to the... Pro to the page where you can get this. This is one of these uh, uh, products from China, but most of our electronics come from China anyway. So this is just a part, and of course, can be used for a lot of different things. Now, my intended purpose for this is actually to put in a QRP radio, or use with a QRP radio that uh, tunes, but doesn't have a frequency readout. Okay, so. We're not going to show that today. We're just going to do a proof of concept here. Of does it work? Here I've got my nice uh, ancient but solid as a rock Yesu FT470 2 meter radio. We're going to put it on the, the simplex calling frequency, which is 14652. Okay? And we're going to call out. Now, any good ham radio person never keys a transmitter. That means turns the transmitter on without talking and, ident and identifying themselves. That's just not something we ham radio people do, okay? Now, I really doubt laying on the car like this in my location that I'm gonna bring up anybody on a simplex frequency. But really what we're doing is, let me turn the volume down a little bit. What we're really doing, and I've got a remote mic here and speaker. Uh, what we're really doing is looking to see if these two numbers match. And first off, I've got to admit that this isn't coupled. To be correct, this I'd have this coupled directly. Instead, I've got this little antenna. So this might throw in some interference, but let's just see. KB1IUI testing. KB1IUI radio test. Radio test. KB1IUI testing. You'll note again that this came out pretty close. It said 1465235. Now, uh, it would be interesting if I had the direct coupling, if I had an SMA connector to connect, connect directly to this, uh, whether I would get the exact number or not. Let's try just once more. I'm, this time I'm going to sign off. I, I was on the channel, and now I'm going to clear. KB1IUI radio test over. KB1IUI clear. So let's just look at our numbers here. So on the 2 meter simplex calling frequency of 146.52, our little meter read out 146.5235, and on the FRS channel of 462.5500, we got 462.5586. So I would say that's pretty close in a non-coupled situation.